Hello, hello. I'm Janine again, um, and, and today I will be showing you guys what I put into my CalArts graphic design portfolio. <laughs> One year ago today, I was applying to CalArts and putting together my portfolio as a graphic design major. In a nutshell, I needed some inspiration and guidance on what to put in my portfolio. Couldn't find any. And really, I just kind of combined everything together and called it a day. So yeah, I guess if you're looking for what kinds of things you can put inside your portfolio as a graphic design major, this video is for you. You're welcome. Okay, let's start with portfolio requirements. What is required in your portfolio? I'm really just reading this off of the CalArts um, requirements website, which you can totally go search up yourself because I know that you are a responsible applicant. You need a minimum of 20 pieces. You have to include examples of graphic design, typography, illustration, motion graphics, web design, photography, and conceptual drawing, which is basically just um, conceptual thinking. You can also include drawing, um, painting, sketchbook pages, and collage. It should also consist of class assignments, self-initiated projects, and or professional work. I mean, we don't, we don't judge in this department. You need to show work that shows your proficiency with both digital and traditional art. You can upload um, images and videos, I believe. For each of these, definitely remember to label them uh, title, size, etc, etc. So yeah, um, now I'm going to move on to um, what I put into my portfolio. So basically, I submitted a total of 30 pieces. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to look into my old CalArts application and tell you guys exactly what I put inside. I put in my pop socket design, my class lanyard design, my heart pin design that I made for art club. Um, and then I also put in a picture of my heart pin design prototype, which, you know, it's, I label it as prototype to make it sound fancy, just make it sound good is my advice to you, I guess. I also included my typography piece, which was this lettering piece I, this birthday card that I made for my friend Jessica. I included my second heart pin design, a sticker design I did for my class spirit week. And then I put in a sticker design prototype. I put in my eggs type, this font that I created. I also put in my nine corsages logo plus packaging. I did like a, I like put those two images together. So it was, it wasn't as confusing to understand that those two were like together. I also put um, the Nine Corsages packaging video. Um, not really sure if I can find it, but if I do, I will put it here. Yeah, I thought that was a really good way to show off the packaging that I designed with like without just using pictures because I feel like some things can't really be explained through pictures. Um, so video is a great way to showcase that part. I also put in the interact area for shirt design front is what I labeled it. Um, interact area for shirt design back. Um, interact area for shirt design prototype, which is just the picture of the actual shirt. Don't know if I can find that either, but I can actually show you guys the actual shirt. Let me just try to find it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Found it. So this is the actual shirt that I designed um, and it got made. It was called a prototype in my vocabulary, but I literally just took a picture of this shirt front and back and just put it in as a piece as well because it showed that you know your design was actually put into production. So if you have any experience um, with that, um, I'd say put it in. Anyways, continuing. Um, I also put in our Senior Spirit Week profile picture that I designed. Actually, I think this was my um, my submission for motion graphic. Like this was what I submitted as part of motion graphics. Um, motion graphics, I would say, um, based on my research of it, is basically just like a gif of things, like a moving, design. Um, it can literally be as simple as, you know, just moving letters, moving um, little sparkles or whatever. Just, I, yeah, that's pretty much what motion graphics are. Um, I also put in a school fundraiser flyer that I designed. 
um, a Rotary Club fundraiser flyer that I designed. Interact quote. I'm not really sure what it is just by looking at the title, but if I find it, I'll put it in. If not, I'll, say, I'll take this part out. I also put in this Interact Club flyer I designed and then FUSD visual representation contest poster some handwritten typography piece that i made titled i am happy and then i also put in some um, of my photography work which i just labeled as super struck again and i also put in some photography work that i did which i basically just labeled as you know whoever i was taking the picture of so this one is melanie ashley may Ashley again, <laughs> Melissa, and Manny. I'm pretty sure you can arrange how you want them to be ordered, but at the very end of my portfolio, I put in a picture of the wing mural that I painted last year. And then I also put in the time lapse of the work in progress of my wing mural at the very, very end. Hi, I'm the girl who edits Janine's videos. I'm editing this. I'm realizing that I forgot to tell you guys what other schools I got into with this portfolio, just like for context. Oh shoot, I don't even know. Like I have to literally search this up. Let me search it up for you guys. Yeah, what's your name? Okay, let me check you in real quick. For real, I'm gonna search it up though. So with this portfolio, I got accepted in to UC Davis, UC Santa Cruz, Cal Poly Slow, Northeastern University, which is where I'm going right now, by the way, Parsons, Rochester Institute of Technology, College of Art and Design, and Art Center. My god, what was I even doing when I was filming this? I also forgot to share um, some tips and advice that I had. I would say definitely show a broad range of work. Um, don't be afraid to put in different mediums and be bold in your work. They really want to see that you are someone who can think outside the box and experiment as a designer. Number two, have fun with it and really show your personality through your application. So I really hammered this in with my video introduction. Hi, my first name is Janine and my last name- I ended up just having loads of fun filming the video and I guess it translated well into showing my character. Um, I usually do these in like lists of three, but I can't really think of anything that isn't like repetitive or is actually useful, so yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's basically it. Please let me know if you guys have any questions at all because I am here to help because I definitely understand how overwhelming and confusing the application process can be, especially when you have a lot of supplementary materials to turn in. Honestly, I just wanna do the most I can to be the resource that I never had when I was applying. But yeah, I hope this was helpful in any shape, way, slash, form. <laughs> oh my god, I think I deleted my- If you're a high schooler looking to apply to CalArts as a graphic design major, or heck, just any school's graphic design program, I'm wishing you the absolute best of luck. If you're watching this, this is a sign that you are amazing. Oh, look at me. Look at me, honey. You are amazing and you've got this in the literal bag. I will literally, I can find a bag actually. I need to find a bag so I can show you guys how much you got this. Oh my God, my room is, is a mess. It, oh, you see this, you see this bag. This is a bag. This is the application you've got. Look, I'm putting it in because you've got it. I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave it a like. It really does warm my heart down here. Yeah, until next time, bye. Oh my god, oh my god. Girls, girls, work with me here. And today I'll be showing you guys what I put into my Cal Arts graphic design portfolio. Was that good? Was it good? I'm, I'm gonna keep it rolling. Keep, gonna keep it rolling.